Hello and welcome to Southall Library. Today we are filming another in the series of Ealing Library's Local History YouTube videos. We're in the Martinware room in Southall Library and that's because we are focusing on the woolly bird which has recently been recovered after having been stolen from Pitsanger Manor in 2007. In January 1894, the Wally Bird or Martin Bird in front of me was created by the Martin Brothers of Southall. The structure in front of us is about 28 centimetres high and it has a cocked head, the head of which is detachable. Sometimes it has been suggested that the Martin Birds or Wally Birds were tobacco jars, but if you look inside this one, you'll find that although it's hollow inside, there's a hole at the bottom, so therefore useless for putting in um, powdered or other forms of tobacco. So rather it should be seen as an aesthetic crafted item to be put on the mantelpiece um, or somewhere in your house for display as a talking point for guests and family. This bird had a long life and unfortunately um, in 2007 it was stolen from Pitsanger Manor. It had been donated to the London Borough of Ealing in 1986 by Professor John Hull Grundy and his wife Anne who were collectors of Martin Ware. The two donated many, many, many items to both Soundfall Library and, and to the London Borough of Ealing and as said it was stored in Pitsanger Manor but unfortunately stolen in 2007 along with a number of other wally birds and other items from the Martin Ware collection. Now that is where the story might have ended except for the fact that in July of this year, July 2023, I received a message from Nigel Wilson who had discovered a picture of this bird in an auctioneer's sales catalogue advertising it advertising it for sale for about £20,000. As soon as he gave me all this information, I checked to see whether this was one of our, one of the library's woolly birds, and finding that it was, I then contacted Chris Marinello of Art International Recovery, who had worked with the council on previous occasions. He was quite optimistic that we would get the bird back. So he contacted the auctioneers and they agreed to remove it from the sales catalogue whilst maintaining it on their premises and not, not returning it to the man who wanted it to be sold. To cut a long story short, at the beginning of September 2023, I met Chris at Leighton House near Holland Park and he exchanged the Wally Bird to me. And after having various photographs of it taken, I took it back to Southall Library and it is now in Southall Library with the rest of the Martin Ware collection for the public to enjoy and to see once again. At Southall Library, a number of staff and children put together a large scale wally bird earlier this year and it's on display for everyone to see in the children's section at Southall Library. Thank you for watching this video. Please remember to subscribe, to like and to comment below. Goodbye.